Hey everybody, it's Chris and I'm back with another shopping video on a very cold night here at Price Chopper. We're gonna go inside and you guessed it, we're gonna find out all the vegan goodies they have to offer. Oh, and there's a little pup in the car, chilling. Literally, chilling. As you can see, they have a pretty decent produce section. And they also have these vegan meats. Uh, we have field roast here. And they have a few products that I haven't seen at other stores. So these little field roast sausages and several different tofurkey products, which I haven't seen at too many other places. I found these tofu shirataki noodles and the tofurkey, a few different vegan cheeses. The Go Veggie is here. I wouldn't go with it. It's not that good, although it is vegan. And here we have several different kinds of tofu. I always go with the Extra Firm. And some Gimme Lean products. A few different vegan hot dogs here. These products are great for convenience and transitional foods, and they're pretty tasty. Although their cheese singles are not that good, the Parmesan is pretty good. And they also have a few different flavors of vegan cream cheese. It's great on toast, bagels, and even some desserts. Silken tofu is great for baked goods and making desserts, but I wouldn't try to cook it up and eat it. I've been hearing a lot about these new Blaze flavored Doritos, which are said to be vegan. So I emailed the company and they confirmed that there are no animal ingredients in here. However, when I asked them about the sugar, they couldn't give me a clear answer. So I gave them a call and they said they buy their sugar from several different sources. And that just complicates it because there could be several batches that are not processed through bone char, and then there could be some that are, and there's really no way to tell. So personally, I would stay away from these. Here's the full circle, all natural raw sugar, so it's not processed through bone char. It is vegan, and I believe this is the Price Chopper brand. We also have some chocolate chips that are vegan. They use an organic sugar, which also is not processed through bone char. And we can't forget hummus which is a huge staple for a lot of vegans. They have their own brand of veggie straws here. Raw almonds are perfect for making your own almond milk. You can put them in salads, rice, or hot cereals. And over to the snack aisle, we found these rice chips, which are vegan. Two for five with the Shoppers Club. Newman's has a lot of vegan products. Here's these chocolate cookies and the Newman O's Oreo kind of cookies. These are made with an organic sugar, not processed through bone char. They have those chocolate ones, and they also have mint. Hint of mint, Numino's. Kashi is another brand that has a lot of new vegan products. These crackers uh, say vegan right on the package. Just keep in mind that this video's purpose is not to show all the healthiest products, it's to show all the vegan products. And with that being said, here are some Smarties. They're always vegan, they use a vegan sugar. We have these Laura Bar Bites, the chocolate, the mint, and Skinny Pop, which is uh, vegan popcorn, non-GMO, gluten-free, and vegan. Pop chips are also vegan. These are the sea salt one. It says vegan right on the back, which is always good to see. And another brand of popcorn, Boom Chicka Pop, vegan. Moving down the aisle a bit, we found these Kashi Bars, which are vegan. I've tried a few of them and they're pretty good. I like the chocolate almond butter the best. And they have some vegan cereal. This is the organic blueberry clusters and the autumn wheat, which is like uh, shredded wheat. Who would have thunk shredded wheat's not vegan, but has gelatin in it. And this is uh, the crispy crunch, the gorilla munch. These are all vegan gluten-free cereals. And I have tried most of them. The ones I've tried are pretty good. I like the Gorilla Munch and I usually use vanilla rice milk or flax milk on there. Here are some Puffins by the brand Barbara's. They have a lot of different vegan flavors. Just check the side or the back and make sure it says vegan. This place is open 24 hours but they turn the lights off so it's kind of dim in here right now. We're going to make do. I mean that's what would happen in any zombie apocalypse, right? 10 Lara Bars for $10? That's like a dollar a piece. Here are some of their vegan milks. We have the Almond Breeze, we have Rice Dream, which we all know is one of my favorite, and the Price Chopper brand. Most all regular peanut butter that I've seen is vegan, 
But here are some flavored peanut butters. These are labeled vegan and non-GMO. And there's tons of different flavors. Dashing through the dough, that's like cookie dough peanut butter. Is that even necessary? And then the Saratoga Peanut Butter Company have a couple of vegan options here as well. There is one that they de-veganize, so just watch out for that. It's got honey in it. But the ones I showed are vegan. And then spices, we have spices, lots of spices, organic spices, like these ones. And if you're looking for some vegan graham crackers, these s'morables and animal crackers are both vegan. The company Enjoy Life has a bunch of vegan options. These brownie bars are really good. The chocolate bars are good. There's three of them, but two of them are vegan. One of them's not, so be careful. Both of these ones are vegan. It says it right on the back. Here's some vegan granola by Purely Elizabeth. It's also gluten-free and organic. Now we're talking about sugar again. Domino's here. If it's manufactured in New York, Florida, or Maryland, it is vegan. Florida Crystals has all certified vegan sugar. Now what makes sugar not vegan is the process of going through bone char. So a lot of these are good because it has that vegan certification on it. We got the sugar in the raw here. It says vegan right on the back in big bold letters. Wholesome Sweeteners is another brand that has a bunch of vegan sugar and Stevia in the raw is a natural sweetener. Gave Nectar is another good one. I use it in place of honey or sometimes maple syrup. And Bob's Red Mill carries a bunch of baking supplies, including flaxseed and chia seeds, which go into my smoothies. Here we have some Enjoy Life mini chips, which are vegan, great for making cookies or just melting them down. They carry gluten-free, all-purpose flour. We have this Pasha cacao bar, certified vegan and endangered species. They have a bunch of certified vegan, different flavors of chocolate bars two for five bucks with the Shoppers Club and my favorite Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. How about some sweet potato pancake mix? I don't know, I've never tried it. Some all-purpose flour by Enjoy Life, which I've never seen before. It's gluten-free, certified vegan, non-GMO. And some of these free-to-eat cookies. We have the chocolate chunk brownie and the chocolate chip. They're vegan. We have some vanilla mini cookies by Home Free. And Yum Earth has a bunch of vegan options, but make sure you read the package because they also have non-vegan. Enjoy Life also has brownie mixes and plentos, which are really good chips. Here's some chocolate by a brand called Chatfields that says vegan right on the back. And they have some bacon chocolate too. I've never used this before, but that's cool. I just found a new chocolate. And next to those are these raw organic cacao nibs which you can garnish a smoothie or something. Brown rice syrup is another sweetener you could use in place of honey or sugar. And this condensed coconut milk is great for cooking with, baking. Annie's has some cookie brownie bars, which are vegan. And they also have the double chocolate brownie mix. I've not tried these before. Essential goodness cookie mix by King Arthur are vegan. Canned veggies are vegan and they're great to have in a bind or when you don't have much time or to keep in your pantry in case there's any kind of emergency. They have a really long shelf life. Dried beans, lentils, rice, quinoa. These are all things that are cheap. They go a long way and they'll last you a while. You can save some money by buying these in bulk and meal prepping and busting the myth that being vegan has to be expensive. I found these three flavors of just mayo and also the just salad dressings. Amy's has several varieties of vegan soups. Just look at the back, it'll say vegan. They do have a couple that aren't vegan, so just make sure you're reading the labels there. Two for five bucks. And Hillary's has all vegan salad dressings as well. $3.49. This Better Than Bullion has a few different vegan flavors, and I've used it in rice, soups, and ramen. And right next to that, I found the Dea Deluxe Cheddar Style Mac and Cheese. Justin's Almond Butter Classic and Maple. Very good stuff. Some more vegan peanut butter, different flavors. The white chocolate is delicious. This is by the Peanut Butter Company. It says vegan right on there and sustainable palm. And then a few people were asking me about different jellies and stuff. So here's a vegan jelly. Here's a Smucker's Vegan Jam. Over in the freezer department, I found the Talente Peanut Butter Fudge Sorbet. It is vegan and delicious. They also carry Ben & Jerry's vegan flavors of ice cream. 
and of course so delicious which is one of my favorites Breyers has a couple of different vegan flavors the vanilla peanut butter and the cookies and cream says suitable for vegans right on the side there coconut bliss also has a bunch of vegan ice cream ice cream bars and says vegan right on the package so delicious also has the coconut base which I'm not a big fan of I like the cashew and the soy the best and Amy's has this vegan mac and cheese you can check out a prior video where we did a taste test of it they actually have several different vegan products just look for the label it will say vegan on it and here we have Kashi again we have the polenta and the sweet potato quinoa bowl it says vegan right on the package and you really can't go wrong with frozen veggies they are flash frozen at peak readiness which means you're getting them at the best they're ever going to be corn finally made a vegan product which i talked about in a prior video these sunshine burgers are vegan they have a few different flavors there and amy's also has a few veggie burgers and next to those i found a package of beyond meat the crumbles I want to address this product real quick. It's not vegan, but it used to be vegan. They added honey to it. And this is a prime example of why you should always read labels. It's rare, but it happens. But the good thing about Amy is that they label their vegan products vegan, like this tofu scramble burrito, this gluten-free burrito, and this black bean burrito, all vegan. So Delicious also makes a cocoa whip, whipped cream. Kashi has really gone above and beyond with their vegan product. Here's some blueberry waffles that are vegan. And some more waffles that are vegan. Ezekiel bread is vegan. It's organic. And these super pretzels are vegan. Over here I found the jackpot of vegan milks. We have almond milk, silk, almond breeze, so many different brands. We have chocolate vanilla unsweetened we have soy milk flax milk we have three and a half coolers filled with vegan milk this was unheard of when i went vegan this is a very good thing next to that we have some almond milk yogurt for a reasonable price four for five bucks it is vegan and we have our garden products like these turkey cutlets chicken strips crumbles meatballs and fish fillets and the cool thing about Gardein is all of their products are vegan. And Price Chopper also carries their own vegan burger and vegan chicken patty, which I've tried and they're actually not that good, but they're trying. Next to those were the frozen fruits, which are perfect for blending up and making a smoothie with, which I do every morning. And I found any cinnamon rolls and I did contact the company and they are vegan. Last but not least, we have the Simmer Sauces by Maya Kamal. They are delicious, and I believe they have four of them that are vegan, and there's a couple that aren't. So just make sure you read the back. It will say vegan. Okay, that was a, that was a good run, but I need to get back in my car because it's freezing out here. So as you can see, Price Chopper was a huge success. Tons of vegan options there to choose from. And remember, as I showed you today, that you always have to read the ingredients. Even if something was vegan before, they could have changed the ingredients to make it not vegan anymore. And it's always good to see the vegan certified. It makes it a lot easier. But uh, there are other items that aren't certified vegan that are absolutely vegan. And the way to find out, call the companies, make sure nothing in it is uh, not suitable for vegans. So, that's how I've gone through many years of being vegan and now it's just a little bit easier with those vegan certifications. Also, I just want to add, like I have in prior videos, not everything I showed you is going to be optimally healthy for you. A lot of the things are highly processed and I don't recommend them. But the point of this video is to show you how many things are vegan, how many countless products are out there that are suitable for vegans. Um, I always kind of... Uh, promote the whole plant-based diet as far as the processed foods go but they do exist if you want them anyway i hope you liked this video let me know in the comments below and make sure you give me that thumbs up if you liked it if it helped you out at all and uh, don't forget to subscribe survive watch out for zombies and i'll see you in the next one